moment you put ca- paintbrush to canvas, whatever's going on in your head, what you created in your head changes instantly. Sometimes the best paintings happen accidentally or interestingly I might paint over a picture because I don't like it anymore and then what I create afterwards just comes out so much better. It's not always the things you design and sit and painstakingly think about, you know, that work. With any picture, um, I always prime my canvases first. So usually, you know, by default, I'm priming them white and then painting on top of that. Um, but with this, for example, you know, it started off white and then I've put a few base colours on. And yeah, it acts as a primer because for me it's like, it's, a, it's an underlayer. It's a starting point. Paintings about mark making, you know, and it's like it's about using brushes and, and knives and different things to create marks, um, you know, and it's not so prescriptive, and that's one of the things I love about painting or the way I paint. Realism is not something I tend to aim for because it doesn't—it just doesn't inspire me. Like the, the, the sense that something has to look like something—it's—it's it's a funny thing because it's one of those perceptions that you know in our society we're trained. You know, one of the first things people say is, "Oh, what is that? What is that?" What is... You could have the most abstract painting, and invariably one of the questions you'll get asked is, "Oh, what is it?" Um, you know, because there's a comfort people have in knowing what it is, in likeness. It's, it's a real comforting feeling. You look at a painting, you know, you want it, you want it to represent something you recognise in order for it to be valid to you, you know. Um, but for me, that's not ever the aim, you know. Okay, this is going to represent Tahrir Square and a moment in time and, and a picture of a crowd and, and, and the buildings but it's representing a feeling, you know, it's, it's more about an emotion to me. I don't necessarily want someone to recognise it, you know, maybe the person who, who, who has it in their home, it means something to him and he recognises it, but I'm not too fussed about it looking like a photo. When you paint, why paint if, 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 you're, if you're not experimenting, if you're not learning, if you're not trying something new? You're just completely in your comfort zone. I've learned not to restrict myself to be, you know, 
very prescriptive as to how I want it to look. Eye level in what it looked like on the floor. Especially with the blues, because it's very different to what Egypt is like in real life. You know, it's very Egypt, it's very hot. It's very yellow. It's you know, like it's Sahara. You know, like that's that's what it's like, and that's what I, I quite like. Is it just says it's it's this is different. It's not the past anymore. This is what the future could. But to me, anyway, I think it's just like what the future could be. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mohammed. That's really, really nice. Thank you. It's a lovely picture.